All right, this is a continuation of the video I made. Um, actually, two videos where I was filming the moon and then the video of the encounter with the individual that was basically uh, harassing me in the Brighton Strader Square parking lot. I'm going to, I'm driving down Patterson now. I'm tracing my track. This is this is what I was doing that led to that confrontation, as silly as it may sound. Traveling down Patterson now, the moon now is a lot higher than it was, but before it was a lot bigger and prettier and I wanted to get a clear view of it to film it. And I wasn't sure uh, where to go to do that. I thought the parking lot up here would probably be the best bet. Yeah, the Brighton Strader Square parking lot. Right now I'm at the intersection of Wilmington and Patterson. So basically I was looking for a place to park temporarily so I could film the moon. And I was actually thinking about turning left here on Revere, which I guess I should have done. It would have saved me the trouble. But I didn't. I, I, because I go to Brighton Street, Brighton Street or Square all the time. And I turned in right here. This is where I turned in to park. And as you can see, there's a car right there, abandoned, that's been sitting there. And interesting that the, the, the man that I was talking to said nothing about that car that's been sitting there for the past, uh, well, over an hour at least. I pulled in. I wasn't even there for five minutes, and this gentleman comes up to me, or actually, I I, start, I I wish I would have started filming earlier. I uh, I crossed Patterson to head back to my car after filming the moon, and there this this man is filming my or filming or taking pictures. I'm not sure which one he was doing, but he had his phone out. He was taking pictures. Looked like he was taking pictures of my car, and my dog was barking. And so I asked him if I could help him, and he, he asked me what I was doing there. And of course I'm thinking, who are you? Why are you asking me questions? Why should I be interested in telling you what I'm doing? And that's when he claimed that he owned Brighton Strader Square. He said he owns the parking lot, he owns the shopping center, and he wants to know why I'm there. Well, of course, I'm not going to take that at face value. I actually know who this individual is, and maybe, I don't know, some watching might recognize him. I'm not going to say who he is. If he, by chance, knows who I am and gives my name, then I will definitely give his. But I do know that he owns some establishments around that area, at least one, um, which I've actually frequented. Uh, no longer, it's been a long time. But to see him there taking pictures of my car, I was really, uh, take, I, was, I was so taken aback, I actually wasn't sure what to say and how to encounter him, um, because I did recognize him. And then he claims that he owns the entire shopping center, which would be news to me. I, but even even let's 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 say that he does, which I like I said I just don't buy anybody claiming that they own anything. Um, but even if he did own it, um, it's just very strange that he would take the time to encounter somebody like that that had just pulled in as really a kind of pit stop. Uh, which is what I was doing to uh, take pictures of nature and then that encounter ensued. So anyway, I wanted to provide this by way of what happened and uh, what, ha what preceded that encounter. And then right now I'm just basically heading down Patterson toward Woodman. Lovely night here in Dayton, Ohio, in the Gym City. Unfortunately, the Gym City is oftentimes inhabited by very petty people. Such is life, I suppose.